Hey guys, how are you? I'm Holly Taylor and today we're going to be trying something a little bit new. It's the Bravely Default 2 demo. This game comes out in a couple weeks on February 26th, I believe. And I'm not typically a fan of turn-based JRPGs, but I am a fan of Square Enix games. And honestly, from what I've seen of this game so far, it just looks like something I would really enjoy. It looks beautiful and I heard the music is great. So let's see what it's all about. I guess I'm gonna go with normal. I'm kind of tempted to go casual and make it easier. Um, but just for you guys, I will do normal difficulty. Now go. Return to the land. To your destiny. Cry out. Call out your name. Well, as this is a male character, I'm not going to change his name to Holly, and I guess we can just keep it set. Chapter 1, Chasing Mirages. It's intriguing. I wonder if this demo is a certain number of chapters or if it's time-based. I actually don't know. Probably should have checked that before I started, but too late now. Oh, maybe this will tell me. Um, a sizable slice of the game's first chapter uh, immediately after the prologue. So um, I guess we don't get to see the prologue. Limited to five hours. <laughs> I may need to look at some of these tutorials just because I'm not playing these type of games so often and I've never played the original, so that's good to know. Going to he it's time to head for the city of Savalon. All right, I've already got a party of characters with Seth leading the way. Pretty linear path. Uh, first encounter with an enemy. Let's see what this battle system is all about. The enemy is feeling brave. I think that's a reference to the title, maybe? Next, yeah. So I can attack black magic, white magic, items, brave, and default. So looks like we've got some EP. I'm just gonna attack like normal and see what happens. Pain into game. Okay then. I don't really have a strategy right now. I'm just kind of seeing what all these different Very characters well. do with a regular attack. So, okay, so default is just defending. For, ooh, ooh, I didn't mean to select that. Um, I don't really know what I did, but 
You're one enemy down. A mere scratch. No big deal. Okay, so the black magic and white magic, I was on a mage type character, so. Got other options. Um, I've got plenty of MP. Try this. And he's down. One more left. I don't know the difference between white magic, black magic. Okay, so white is healing, maybe. I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, the part that I don't really understand is how come he just got so many attacks in a row. This is not my type of battle system. There's just too much going on. Too much to memorize and experiment with. But, I mean, I guess that's part of the fun of it. It just doesn't tend to be my type of thing. Let me see. He is just okay, our first battle is over. No items. I wish I knew the other characters' names. I guess they were on there. Did I miss something? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be going. This little icon right here. Is it, like, in the stone? Is this, like, a... Oh. <laughs> Entrance is over here. It's kind of hidden. Oh, I can cut some grass in the field. Excellent. And what of your own home, friend? Not good, I'm afraid. The lower floors are entirely submerged. Are we to be left with nowhere to live at all? What? You're about to be made homeless, you say? Ach, come on now. I'm sure it can be as bad as all that. Crikey. What is it, Elvis? Whoa. Yeah, the environment is beautiful. I love this art design. I kind of feel like we've missed something by skipping the prologue. An oasis in a desolate desert. Well, it certainly looks like whoever took the water crystal came here. It certainly does. Alrighty. Best going over we want to the king then, eh? Is that really such a good idea, Elvis? Eh? Hey? Why would it not be? Well, he's an important man. And you have a habit of putting your foot in your mouth. Uh, I know exactly what to say to the great and the good. Thank you very much. I am the great and the good. Nobility, born and bred. <laughs> You're kidding, right? You. Don't look so surprised. Ah, uh, you, you think I've never mentioned it before? You haven't mentioned it before. Do you think I'd forget something like that? Really? Well, if I didn't, it's because it's not important. We're all the same underneath, eh? I cannot believe you sometimes. I don't believe that. But tell you what, I'll let you in on some noble knowledge by way of an apology. Kings, lords, emperors, all those sorts, they deal with more scheming and intrigue on the average day than most folks do in a lifetime, which means they tend to be surrounded by backstabbers and spies. We need to be on our guard. Can you see it? Can you see that magnificent house rising out of the water? Well, that is my house. I spent an enormous fortune on it, and now half of it is submerged. I suppose I can only laugh. Ha ha. 
Water fills the streets of Sabalon, but life must go on. After all, we cannot abandon our city. It is the only hab <laughs> habitable place in this entire desert. So, sounds like the city was not meant to be covered in water. Though they do have this bridge built up pretty high that seems like they must have been well prepared for something like that to happen. I wonder if I should take a look at the tutorials or if I should just figure it out along the way. These guys are all kind of just early NPCs teaching me stuff, I think. Oh, we got a shop. I've got some money to start with. It's kind of an odd number. Maybe you need to spend money in the pro- I don't know, it's just kind of a random number that they start you with. Um, I'm just taking a look. I'm not really gonna buy anything yet until I kind of figure out my battle strategy and who I prefer to use and all that. Crikey, a flooded city in the middle of the desert. It's quite a sight, eh? And another reminder of just what the crystals are capable of. I don't know what the crystals are. What did Elvis say again? We need to be careful because kings tend to be surrounded by backstabbers and spies. It's not like him to worry about anything like that. Guess we really had better keep our guard up. Since ancient times, Savalon has gone to great lengths to secure a steady supply of water. Eye-watering sums of money have been spent. Indeed, it was often said that water was the most precious commodity in the kingdom, and yet now we are desperate to be rid of it. Let me see this panoramic view. Oh, that's pretty cool. It doesn't really do me any good, but it might help me figure out where I'm going if I get lost. We wish to speak with the manager. Where is Lord Bernard? Hey, folks. First of all, I want to say what a huge pleasure it is to have so many of you with us today. Thanks for coming out. Is that Orpheus? The Bard? Never mind your thanks. Tell us what you're going to do about the water. People are saying it is Lord Bernard's fault that the waterways he dug beneath the city are the cause of the floods. Is this true? Mr. Orpheus, sir, could you please ask Lord Bernard to come and address the crowd? We simply wish to know the truth of the situation. Surely he owes us that much at least. The truth, eh? Wow, that's a big one. But what is truth, really? Less of the theatrics! Just go and get him, will you? We will not be fogged off with an appearance from one of his lackeys! Hear, hear! Bring it out! Bring it out! I hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but Lord Bernard can't be with us today. Look, I can see that you guys are pretty unhappy. It doesn't take an empathetic genius to sniff the discontentment on the wind. So how about I sing a little something to put your minds at ease? It's a future classic, I promise. You had better be joking, minstrel! She's the jewel of the desert, the city in the sand. She's pretty and pleasant, and her people, they are grand. Come on, smile and be happy. My June dwelling friends, because the hard times you're suffering from, they're coming to an end. Oh, my heart goes out to all of you, and so does my song. 
Yeah, my heart goes out to all of you. Now please just move along. He's right. We should return to our homes. Their heads are all on fire. Or they've been yes, hoodwinked by magic. It does look like purple fire, though. But, but, wait! Where are you all going? What in heaven? Wowie zowie. They weren't kidding when they said these asterisks were something else. I brought the house down. You, you're... Whoa, Princess Gloria, is it really you? Have I even seen you since the Musa days? It is an honor, a pleasure, and a privilege as ever, your highness. Spare me your fawning pretenses. I would prefer an explanation of what you just did to those poor townspeople. What do you mean? I saw some people in need of a little lift, so I sang them sweet, that's all. Anyway, what brings you to Sapalon? Don't tell me they banished you from Musa too. No, wait, Musa got smashed to pieces, right? Hey, watch your mouth. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry if you're upset, your highness. Too soon, I guess? And who might you be? I'm... On second thoughts, I don't care. Wow. You know this guy? His name is Orpheus. He was Musa's court minstrel. He wormed his way into my father's affections, then began embezzling funds at the earliest opportunity. Aye, that'll get you exiled right enough. Can't say I'm surprised. The fellow's got bad apple written all over him. I'm standing right here, you know. Look, the life of a groundbreaking artist doesn't come cheap. Honestly, it's so hard being amazing. You still don't get me at all, do you, your highness? Some things never change. Do you really imagine I have the slightest interest in what you think of me after all that's happened? I have far more important things to worry about. Wow. Tough crowd. Well, I know when I'm not wanted. Time to exit stage right. Come again soon, your highness. Thank you, and good night. That guy's a real piece of work. Don't let him get to you, Gloria. Oh, I don't intend to. I have neither the time nor the inclination. Now, shall we make our way to the palace? So many people to talk to. Oh, these are all the brainwashed people. Yes, I su suppose Orpheus is correct. Wait, Orpheus? Correct? That cannot possibly be true. What in the world was I thinking? So, did I just snap, help her snap out of it? Many suspect that the floods have been caused by the waterways that Bernard dug beneath the city. He does so love to throw the money he makes from the gaming hall around without a thought. But then, had he not done so, he would never have been made an elder. The kingdom of Savlon has two princes, Prince Castor and Prince Pollux. Castor, the older brother, has a brilliant mind but a reputation for being haughty and approachable. Pollux, on the other hand, has the common touch but many question his qualities as a leader of men. Lord Bernard is currently busy and unable to receive visitors, I am afraid. I do not understand what happened. One moment I was demanding answers from Bernard, the next I was meekly returning home. It must have been Orpheus's words that caused my change of heart. Curse that silver-tongued snake. So at least they kind of realized what had happened to them. Can I not go this way? Dead end? Thought there might have been a path. We'll go the long way around, or should I try this way? There is an icon in the top left showing me that the palace must be that way. Though it is tempting to concentrate all one's efforts. Oh, it's just some advice.
Sauron's kings do not wield absolute power. Instead, the realm is governed with the aid of a specially selected uh, cadre of elders such as myself. The council is currently engaged in a series of emergency sessions seeking to resolve the crisis of the rising waters. Alas, despite many hours of debate, no solution has yet been agreed upon. This, sadly, is one of the disadvantages of our particular political system. You will not climb up high ever again, do you understand? If you fall, you will die. You are a dog, not a cat. Do not forget that. This path leads to the palace. Its doors are always open, even to those who are strangers to our kingdom. I, I assume that's me. King Orion has always prided himself on his open mind and is a voracious consumer of tales from foreign lands. Alas, his majesty has not been well of late. He may not currently be available for an audience. An interesting fact about the scorching desert sun. It is possible to fry an egg on one's helmet under its incredible heat. I too shall be fried if I spend too long out of the shade. God, just my luck to be assigned a daytime posting. Was that a bit of advice? Like, is there food to be cooked in this game to <laughs> replenish some stats? And you can do some cooking? I, I think it was just a little bit of dialogue. Not to be taken seriously. Prince Pollux is currently unavailable. Prince Castor, however, may be able to offer you an audience. What about the king? King Orion will not be granting any audiences today. Prince Castor will be performing his duties in his place. Okay. I would never complain about my duties, but patrolling the palace is harder than many realize. It is such hot, sweaty work, and now that the kingdom is filled with water, the temptation to jump in is almost irresistible. Princess Gloria, it is a great relief to see you safe and well. I am sorry if I caused you any undue concern, Prince Castor. Please, there is no need to apologize. If I might ask, what became of you after the fall of your kingdom? It is rather a long story, I'm afraid. And so, we find ourselves here today. You believe Savalon's current troubles to have been caused by the water crystal? I do. And I wondered if your honored father might know anything that could help us in investigating the matter further. Your Highness, permit me to offer my deepest sympathies for all that has befallen you. Alas, our own realm is currently suffering grave troubles of its own. It saddens me to say this, but we are unable to offer any assistance. Silence. That is not your decision to make. You must forgive Dromed his presumption. While his official title is that of Record Keeper to the Court, he also serves in an unofficial capacity as an advisor. And what he says is not without truth. Our current situation is not a pleasant one. My honored father, the king, his... his whereabouts are currently unknown. Goodness! Have you any idea what might have happened to him? Sadly not. We had thought that he might have been kidnapped, but we have received neither a ransom demand nor contact of any other kind. We have also tried to notify my younger brother, Pollux. But since setting off on his tour of the nations of the world, he remains unreachable. The Council of Elders has been satisfied thus far with our tales of sudden sickness, but it is only a matter of time before they begin asking questions. I am ever so sorry. I pray with all my heart that he will be returned to you soon. You are too kind, Princess Gloria. I will confer with the Council on the matter of the Water Crystal. Perhaps one of the Elders will know something. That would be great, wouldn't it, Gloria? You dare interject, servant! <laughs> Have you no shame? Oh, you misunderstand, Prince Castor. My friend here is no servant. He is a companion and trusted ally. I owe him my life. Hmm? Friend? Companion? A lowly commoner? Oh, come now, your highness. If you continue to insult my comrades, I fear I shall have no choice but to take offense. Offense? And what? He is a commoner, is he not? I merely call a spade a spade. Prince Castor. Ahem. <clears throat> Forgive me, your highness. I spoke out of turn. Now, 
To return to the matter at hand, Dromit. The city's various districts began to fill with water at different times, but it seems the trouble first began around three years ago. Three years? And was it not three years ago that Musa was attacked? The council will be assembling shortly. We must consult with them on this matter right away. Please, if you would bear with us until then. Of course, Your Highness. Forgive the wait, Your Highness. Allow me to introduce Elders Cygnus and Bernard, right honorable members of the Council. Cygnus, Minister of Commerce at your service. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, Princess Gloria. Bernard, Master of the Gaming Hall. It is an inestimable honor, Your Highness. Prince Castor informs us that you seek knowledge of the Water Crystal. We do, indeed. I suspect that it might be the cause of the city having filled up with water. Might you know anything of such a connection? Alas, the cause is somewhat more prosaic than that, Your Highness. I am afraid my men made a rather critical blunder while digging an underground waterway. In fact, you find us having just emerged from an emergency council meeting on that very subject. And a very productive meeting it was, too. I must commend you on your ready acceptance of responsibility, Lord Bernard. To have offered to help in writing the mistake is further proof, if such were needed, of your unimpeachable character. This man is no crystal thief, Your Highness. You have my personal guarantee of that. You honor me, Lady Sigmund. Now, we must be getting on. The proposed countermeasures will require considerable planning if they are to go ahead. If you will excuse us. That is not what I expected for Bernard to look like at all. Perhaps. But if Bernard's waterways truly are the reason for the flooding, then there is one thing that strikes me as somewhat convenient. The gaming hall. His gaming hall. Is one of the few places not afflicted, despite the vast quantities of water it uses. Hmm. Perhaps we had better go and take a look. You will allow me to accompany you, I trust. If one of my subjects truly is connected to the disappearance of your kingdom's treasures, as a friend and ally, I cannot stand idly by. Your help will be much appreciated, Your Highness. And besides, I somewhat doubt the ability of this rabble to protect you. You are of noble birth, Lady Gloria. To associate so freely with the lowborn is... Prince Castor. Of course, Your Highness. Now is not the time to be casting aspersions on the quality of your companions. I hope you can all forgive me, and that I might prove to be of assistance. I hope so too, Prince Casta. All right. Looks like we're headed for the gaming hall. Oh, great. The asshole's now in my party. It's interesting that he seems to know Gloria so well. Ooh, treasure chest. Um, there's obviously some background story, I assume, from one of the first games. Can I can I get a better view? Oh wait. No. I think Gloria is my favorite character so far, just in terms of how she looks, but she's definitely not dressed for life in the desert, and it's kind of weird, just, I guess, kind of juxtaposition. Just seems so out of place, and she just looks totally content with that. Um, I don't know why I went the long way around, but here's some of my party. There's a treasure chest over there, but I don't think I can get across the water. Oh, for some reason I thought this was, like, his house. I didn't realize this is 
the gaming hall. Whoa. I never expected to see a fountain like that in the middle of the desert. Me neither. Talk about decadent. Not that I mind a little luxury, but you can have too much of a good thing. Oof. There's been no expense in deck in this place here, that's for sure. Prince Castor! To what do we owe this inestimable pleasure? <laughs> well, might I ask what brings you here, Your Highness? Princess Gloria was taking a tour of the city. I thought it would be rude not to offer to accompany her. Ah, the life of a prince is a hard one, is it not? But I am forgetting myself. Allow me to introduce Annie Hal. The rustic charms of her performing menagerie have been entertaining our clientele of late. You will have to forgive her abysmal manners. I found her wandering the wilds, and it seems her upbringing was far from civilized. <laughs> But tell me, Princess Gloria, how goes the search for the water crystal? We haven't found it yet, but we will. You can be sure of that. <laughs> oh, I do admire your optimism, but I can't help feeling that you'll never find it, no matter how hard you search. What would it take to convince you that it was not in Savalon, I wonder? An official edict to that effect from the prince, perhaps? I doubt it. Not that I don't trust His Highness, of course, but I would prefer to confirm it for myself. After all, thieves have a habit of hiding things rather well, don't you find? <laughs> well, then far be it from me to hinder you in your search. But please, do take care. Now, if you'll excuse me, well, no offense to our new friend, but I can't help thinking he's got something to hide. Bernard's story is certainly impressive. He built the gaming hall and earned himself a place on the Council of Elders, and all in the space of a few years. There were certain rumors, of course, but what newly made man is not dogged by the chatterings of the jealous. All the more reason to suspect him, says I. There's no smoke without fire. Maybe that minstrel can tell us something. Orpheus, was it? Couldn't hurt to ask. Is there anything you can tell us about him first, Gloria? Well, if I were being kind, I might describe him as committed to his craft. If I were feeling less generous, I'd say he was a raving egomaniac. <laughs> Reminds me not to get on your bad side. But that's good to know. We might be able to use it to our advantage. Let's track him down and see, shall we? The proprietor of the gaming hall was kind enough to lend me some money to keep playing. He said he did not like to see patrons going home having lost. What a fine charitable gentleman. I shall be trying doubly hard to win now. I wonder if that strategy works for them. I think you will be present pleasantly surprised by the variety of drinks available here in the desert. You must try the local specialty. It is made with the bendy yellow fruits of a certain tree. Is that a banana? <laughs> It may not sound very appetizing, but I assure you, it, is, it has a taste that is simply unique. Why not try a glass? Many of the continent's major trade routes cross the Savalonian Desert. Our city has been a meeting place for merchants since ancient times. The money and the knowledge they bring with them is the very lifeblood of our kingdom. High stakes gambling, spectacular stage shows, and some of the best food and drink I've ever tasted. This place is heaven itself. Haha, <laughs> thanks goodness I decided to become a traveling merchant, or I'd never have had the chance to sample at all. Can I go up here? Uh-oh, the money I was supposed to spend on stock is all gone. 
This is a disaster. I have to win it back. Quick start. Oh, man. I went the wrong way. But I am entering another area, maybe? Oh, wow. Oh. There's a treasure chest on this side, too. I almost missed it. Is there another way in back here? Nope. Now, do I want to go all the way around to get that other treasure chest? Yeah, I'm gonna do it, because that's just who I am. So I can go into his personal office, but I can't talk to him or do anything here. PG stands for. I assume that's just their currency abbreviation. Pure gold. Um, so I need to find Orpheus, but I don't have an objective marker on my screen. You intend to pursue Orpheus? Then you had better not tarry here. Okay. I hear that Bernard has admitted responsibility for causing the floods and has agreed to pay compensation to those affected. Perhaps he is a better man than I thought. Prince Castor, please, you may pass, of course. That's not what I wanted. Tell me about Orpheus. Yeah, yeah, you already said this to me. I hear that Bernard has confessed to his crimes. I must say, I find that rather difficult to believe. Or, if he has indeed done so, it is surely with an ulterior motive in mind. Orpheus? Yes, I saw him near the entrance to the city a short while ago. He may have moved on by now, of course. Okay, let's check the entrance to the city. I assume that's where I started, though there was kind of a brief dialogue scene in a more, uh, like, entryway area. Yeah, I bet it's over here. Yep. It's him. Orpheus, where are you going? Whoa, why are you trying to pin me down? I'm a seeker, man, a poet. I go where the muse takes me. Wherever the wind blows, whenever the spirit moves me, that's my destination, baby. Uh-huh. So, where are you going? Oh, I'm wasted on you, you know that. Anyway, I don't have to tell you anything. Ugh, you're impossible. Fine. I'm off to the sand-swept ruins to bring a certain very special story to an end. Go on! Go running off to Bernard and tell him like I knew you will. Okay. Jeez, I know better than anybody that a true artist needs dedicated fans, but why does Bernard keep the kid around? Loyalty's good and everything, but that kind of puppy dog stuff could really cramp a guy's style. Hmm? Well, look who it is. Ahem. <clears throat> Oh, she's the tragic princess of a long-lost land, and she cries a river while she stomps the sand. Will her crystal questing ever reach an end, or will she die for duty here without a friend? Ooh, yeah. You gotta love the sad ones. That's a classic in the making and no mistake. Oh, hey, Princess Gloria, I didn't see you there. Listen, I've got a dash, but I'd love to talk to you sometime about what it feels like to lose an entire kingdom. It'd make one heck of a song. <laughs> he knew we were here. He certainly did. And judging by his song, he knows something about the crystals, too. 
Do you know get a feeling he's leading us a little by the nose? So what if he is? No harm in playing along, right? Then, when we get the chance, we turn the tables and squeeze him for everything he knows. Prince Custer, do you know the place he mentioned? Yes. The ruins are to the south of the city. I will lead the way. All right, we're guess. I guess we're going back out into the desert to find these ruins. And we got a new person in our party. Looks like we're not going very far. I like that there's a little light leading the way. I'm just gonna avoid the enemies for now. This type of battle is not my strong suit. I'm more interested in the story, and the aesthetics, and the character development. The great city once stood here. Before these lands fell to the sand, war and deforestation laid waste to what was once green and pleasant. So the desert came to be. Our ancestors were foolish indeed. These sun-scorched sands are no place to make a life. If only there were water in abundance. How many times I've dreamed of it. Prince Custer. Forgive me. This is neither the time nor the place. We must focus on the task at hand. Finding Orpheus. So am I just explore? Is this just kind of like a maze? Ooh. Ooh, you're gonna chase me, huh? It's probably not in my best interest to just avoid every battle because then I'm never gonna get stronger and I'm sure there are battles that are required, but I'm just kind of looking around for now. Oh, I didn't even realize that was an enemy. Ready, everyone? And Prince Caster is not actually in my battle party, it looks like. I wonder if he could be if I had set them there. Oh, no. He is there, so who... Wait a minute. I'm confused. That was Caster just now, right? Um... Let's take out these little guys first. doing more exploring of the abilities. So maybe Prince Caster is part of the battle, but I don't control him? Man, that guy's ugly. Huh. OK. 
Okay, then. Couple little guys taken care of. Who was that? Select everyone. Be healed. You saved my I thought I said I could do multiple targets, but you rang? I guess not. I've got plenty of MP, so I might as well use it. I wonder how often I can get like fully healed in this game. I cannot be defeated. What's JP? Assuming up the stairs is a good sign that I'm going the right way. Ooh, look at that ugly guy. I'm sure I'm gonna have to fight him. What is this? Am I teleporting somewhere? Is this is this good? Is this back to the beginning? I think this is the beginning. I didn't mean to actually exit, I just wanted confirmation that it wasn't a new area. Okay. Well now hopefully we can head back the same way and go back to where we were. Got some monies. Oh. You so. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It was a dead end. Oh, it wasn't too hard to run past him, though. But I'm gonna get trapped by this guy. Look lively, lots of lassies. Wow, why does Gloria have. Is Gloria poisoned? Oh, I guess she is. Here I go. Try this. I'm gonna go after the big guy with this grave feature. Uh, did that not work? Okay, I guess I got three turns at once. Let Gloria heal herself. Gloria fully. What is heroics? Oh, 
Ooh, the strong fire attack. Huh. You're going to regret hurting my friends. I did like that crosscut move. Huh. This should do it. Uh, a mere scratch. Be healed. <laughs> He's gonna go down again, isn't he? I guess I could maybe... Nah. What if this guy is weak against? Down he goes. It's funny that I still had to face one of those big, ugly white guys when it was just a bird type thing in the overworld, and I was actually trying to run away from not having to escape the big guy. Wow, is he actually M moving? I was distracted by the icon. <laughs> this isn't good, is it? That was is it just one? Ah, I'm done. Whoa. Hello. Still standing. Huh. You're all right. right. So much just happened before I even had a chance. Okay. Um. This is just kind of over. Oops. It's kind of overwhelming. Um, there's six enemies, and I don't have a lot of health. Yeah, I'm just not used to this type of battle. Honestly, this type of battle system, it's its just not for me. It just makes me want to give up. Like, I feel like at this point I've lost all hope. Everyone is so low. There's my healer about to go down. She can't, she can't heal everyone. I didn't mean to select that. And we're down. So where does that put me? Where does it reset me back to? Sheesh, all the way back to the loading screen? Okay, I guess we've got an autosave we can pick up. Go ahead and take this portal. I mean, as... Maybe I'm just imagining it. As this is just a demo, and I don't really need to build up skills for later game. Oh man, I didn't even start fully healed. That stinks. That really stinks. It's like a vicious cycle. And my healer's dead, so like... 
There's nothing I can do at this point. I didn't even like get anything in. I guess they attacked me first. I guess I do have Prince Caster putting in some moves. I wonder if he can even die. Oh, oh. Well, Elvis is going down. I guess I haven't checked my items. I don't know if I can use items outside of battle, but... Maybe I can heal myself more fully from the autosave point? Let's see... Okay, I do have a bunch... Why isn't this working? Bunch of regular potions. Might as well use them. Let's see how far we can get. Walk straight into that. <laughs> I meant to go around him. He's just too big. I guess I haven't tried using my sword to strike first. Miss. Come on. A scratch. And she's poisoned again. I can see the enemy's HP now. What was that one move that cured poison? That must be Gloria only. Ah. We found a weakness. I know I saw somewhere that someone had poison carrying. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I can only do it on myself. Shoot. Okay. I guess it's inner alchemy. Seth is weak. Huh. Oh, nothing to worry about. 
out. tell what all the icons that are afflicting everyone is. But everyone's got that purple voodoo cloud over their head, which I know isn't good. I typically associate purple with poison, but I don't actually know that that's what it is. Del might be one of my favorite characters in battle. No, she just has more options. Definitely been draining her MP the most though. Easy breezy. All right, proud of myself. Got one more battle down, but you know, not really getting any items from these battles, and kind of used all my potions in the first place. I've got 10 recovery items, that's good. We can get some MP back. If anyone remains poisoned after battle. I probably Definitely, what's this? Should have. Oh. What? I'm being chased. I probably definitely should have put it on casual play mode. Not the best start. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Gosh, it's way too easy to have the control stick just move a little bit to the right and select the long thing. Whoa! They got me. Something must be done. Yeah, I wish I had some some way to. Hit all enemies? Maybe I do and I just haven't really found that option yet. That's going down again. Great. guys down.
a mere scratch. Be healed. I was gonna cure Seth, but I like Adele better. Okay, I can use this on anyone, that's nice. I'm gonna try this. Mm. Seth seems to be the weakest, for sure. Nothing to worry about. Actually, Gloria's pretty weak too, other than being a great healer. Let me help you! But healers aren't supposed to be great offensively, unfortunately. I need to use the D-pad on these menus so I don't select the wrong thing. And I keep using this thunder trick and using up all the MP, but I'm gonna try this brave. Only got two that time? Just three last time. items again. Why can't they just give me some potions or something? I need them. What is this thing? Options menu? I can only access the options menu at that type of portal? No, I can do it anytime. Maybe that's just a save point. No, thank you. There he is. Folks, please welcome to the stage the incomparable talent that is Princess Gloria. Your Highness, I'd like to take this opportunity to play you something really special. My latest and greatest masterwork. It's about a lone hero who goes through hell after being chased from his homeland, but who finally, at long, long last, gets his chance at vengeance. So, Gloria, if you'd care to join me, you know the words, I'll teach you the tune. I will play no part in this farce, Orpheus. Whoa, farce? This is no such thing. You know how long I've had to wait for this. It's nothing short of a tragedy. And a revenge tragedy at that! Ah, oh, sweet, sweet retribution! What are you even talking about? Retribution for what, exactly? You were outed as a dirty wee embezzler and banished for your crimes! <laughs> You've only got yourself to blame for that, pal! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You don't know my life! You don't know how hard it's been! I'll never forget what was done to me. Never! And now, I finally got my chance for revenge. I'm going to take it. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. So shut up and die! Oh, crap. Do I have to fight him? Do you I didn't think I'd have to fight him. What I've been through since I got kicked out of Musa. Drinking ditch water like an animal. Crawling around like an insect because I was too hungry to stand. Do you ever stop to think about that, princess? 
Can you even imagine it? Because I'll never forget it. That's for sure. Never. All that pain, all that suffering. That's what turned me into the tortured artist you see before you today. And action! You like surprises? This is different. Okay, um, I guess I'm just gonna go all out. <laughs> Do some brave attacking, maybe on multiple enemies if I can. That didn't seem to do much. Oh no! Can I sacrifice some HP for some more MP maybe? Hmm, 15%. What, what is the maximum of hers? Not much. Very well. Be healed. You rang? It says attempt to poison. I don't know how often it's successful. Oh, and it doesn't even do any damage with it. It's solely poison. Yeah, oh, shoot. Seems kind of like a waste. We lost Elvis. Get up, Elvis. Right. Time for a spot of edge. Seth's about to go down, though. No, no, all these little minions. Like, if you're gonna give me a boss, just give me a tough boss. All these extra enemies are just so annoying. I'm done. Hang in there, all right? You're going to regret hurting my friends. Oh no! Wait! It... 
it let me select that. Told me I didn't have enough MP and then it wasted the turn. Okay. Yep, I'm dead. Well, at least we've seen this musical note battle and what it's like. I don't know what happens when we beat Orpheus because I don't know that I'll ever be able to do it. So let's just throw in one big attack. It's curtains for you. And I killed myself. No one calls. Game over again. I suck at this. This is not my type of game. Even though it it looks nice. It is I don't think this is for me, but <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the demo, hopefully it convinced you that this is the right game for you because it is not for me, but I love when games actually release demos so you can try it before you buy it, and now I know because, you know, I, I might have been convinced to impulsively buy this game otherwise and then not be able to even get through the first chapter because I suck at turn-based battle systems. And now I know, and maybe I'll watch someone else play through it on YouTube who is much more experienced than I do in the JRPG genre. So thank you for watching. Uh, I'm usually not this bad at games, but I hope you enjoyed anyway.